Uh, this is one of those uh, Fender Champion uh, 600s that everyone's talking about. Uh, it's a fairly inexpensive amp you can get at any Fender dealer. Okay, we got a nice package today from uh, the Weber speaker people. Please read. Do not push the phone, flex or test for rubs. Uh, okay. Interesting. So there it is. A hey, uh, that's a nice size Alnico magnet for such a tiny speaker. A uh, remove a bunch of screws. The back should just pop off. Uh, I will tell you guys now that I have previously modified this amp by removing the preset tone controls that they ship with. Uh, this increases the gain of the amp considerably basically just went inside it and uh, copied the circuit of an actual Fender Champ and corrected all the corrected all the bits so that it would be a uh, a proper Fender Champ as opposed to a, a silver face type Champ circuit there's our uh, original speaker Fender special design. Let's see if we can. Okay. Here's our amp chassis. So what we have here is the stock Fender circuit. Sorry, the circuit. Uh, and where the mods are, are here, the coupling caps, and all of the tone stuff has been removed. Also, I've replaced the original diodes with Freds, and the uh, main filter cap has been doubled in size to help reduce noise and make the bottom end slightly tighter. There's our original speaker, and you'll notice the foam surround, which is a lot like a hi-fi speaker. Uh, brings the uh, allows the speaker to go down to a lower frequency range, but um, because the foam surround is so loose, uh, the speaker has no control at that point. So I'm hoping that this uh, new speaker. Uh, may not have better bottom end, but it will probably have a uh, uh, a better overdrive tone. Interesting. Almost the same basic basket on this thing. Very interesting. Very interesting. But look at that. That's the Elnico magnet. That's beautiful. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, these these little guys, I was having problems pulling them off. There's a little tab. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little tiny tab. You got to hit that with your fingernail, and then that sucker will slide off. Red goes to the red dot. Black goes to the black dot. There it goes. Get those little shields on there again. So now we can reassemble this whole thing and then give it a listen. OK, 
okay we've put in our new speaker 